I am enervated and believe this is good enough for one weekend. I have 200 watts of panels up. It gets about three hours of direct sunlight, which isn't too good, but we have a lot of shade. And You know, at the moment, I'm thinking it might not be a good idea to trim the trees just yet because the shade makes the workshop cooler. However, whenever I get more panels up, they should hopefully add an air gap. I want to have a very nice, tall air gap. And that should help stop the workshop from just burning up. These are two 100 watt panels, and I have two more, although they were sold as 100 watt panels. I think they're most likely 80 watts because they're a little narrower than this, a little bit longer, but a little narrower. Those can go here too, temporarily, because they still sell ones this size. And so I'm going to get more, and I hope that I can, yeah, I think I probably can, extend these rails further down. And uh, 600 watts or 800 watts for this row. I don't know, like, we'll have to just ex we'll slowly expand it, two panels at a time, and see what happens. But for now, we can bring up those two panels and put them here, and rig something up. Speaking of rigging things up, I do, I do recognize that this is very shaky, but this is a temporary structure. And also, the little ridges on the, the roof, the roofing metal, cause a lot of this issue. This side is a lot stronger because it's between the two ridges, and this side is a lot wobblier because it's on the top of a very small ridge. 
thing is though, I don't want this hooked down very strongly because I'm not entire, it's an experiment. And the failure mode is it getting ripped off by a tornado. If I lose the panels, it's fine. These are old panels from 2016 that have just been sitting around and the MC4 connectors are all rusted up and it's not like they're brand new. And I probably even stepped on them a couple times. And the wood is just some wood from a dumpster. And these little brackets are just some brackets from office cubicles. I mean, it's all just junk that I've put together. Granted, I did buy these for 100 bucks a piece or like 90 bucks a piece a couple years ago, but it just pains me to see them sitting around for a long time and not being used. So I did rush this a little bit just so I would have at least some panels up. But also, I didn't want to put too much strength in the rack to roof connection because they're very, very strong beams running underneath this metal. But if this does get ripped off, I want it just to rip off the rack and the solar panels and have to go pick up the pieces instead of, I don't know, ripping up the entire roof of the workshop. I, I don't want to cause that. Now to inhibit that further, whenever I add the other panels, I'm going to start them right here. So there will be this gap that when, if wind's hitting it this way, the, some of the wind can go underneath to relieve the, the pressure on this. And if wind is going that way, it can come underneath here a little bit and hopefully that can help relieve some of the, the pressure. And plus, this will be a walking gap so I can uh, have like a broom to clean the panels. And as far as I can tell, it's not noon yet, but this is just blocking a huge path of light. And that's exactly what I needed. It's so perfect. Without these things even connected up, they might already be lowering the temperature of the loft by like an entire half a degree. It could, because these are essentially taking up two-fifths of the width of the loft, of the length of the loft, and so it's, it is blocking about two-fifths of the light going into the loft through the sunroof. I'm really happy with this. I figure next week we can hook up the wiring. I'm sorry, I'm really, I just, I'm just really tired. It's so hot out here. Let's wait a little bit and see how it looks whenever it has the sunlight on it. Because I am just... Bleh. It's been a few hours and it looks like the panels are mostly illuminated. Whew, it's toasty up here. Perfect, so perfect. The light, I mean the shadow, comes down right at the wall in the loft. Just a little bit reaches the top part of the wood down there. It's so amazing. So perfect. And since this is the highest point of the sun in the year, any time after this, that shadow will cover more and more of the sunroof. But that's a good amount of area right there that's all been shaded and all been converted to electricity. I'm not harvesting it, but you know. So the solar panels have completely blocked all of the light on this section of the loft roof. Of course, the um, as the sun's moving, this moves over. And so it's no longer covering it all, but it completely blocks off all the light to here, like exactly to that until noon, and then it starts going over. So the only solution is to add yet more panels over there. I think the reason why I can't think of much to say is because it speaks for itself. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little experiment. 
and have a happy Solar Sunday.